As this is Issues with Taddy One Skip, I am Taddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your day. I really appreciate you guys. Guys, I've asked you if there's videos that you wanted me to do, cases you wanted me to follow, and a few of you wrote down Vander Ark. Guys, what a heartbreaking case. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So... I had heard about the case. I really didn't know the name. I heard about the case. Unfortunately, there's so many cases with children being mistreated. This case was just one that stands out. I mean, like, when I was reading the case, it was so heartbreaking. It was so heartbreaking. There's a few things that I want to talk about in this case. One, let me just tell you about the case. For those people that don't know or maybe heard the name or know something about it, in January of 2022, a woman named Shonda van der Ark, her husband Adam had a stroke. When he had a stroke, he was totally incapacitated and he had to ultimately live with his parents because they could better take care of him than where he was living with his wife because the house wasn't set up for that. The house wasn't set up for a wheelchair. The house wasn't set up for 24-hour care. This seems to be the time when she took aggression or hurt and anger about what was going on in her life and she took it out on one of her children on a child who was autistic a child according to his brother had motors impairment had speech impediment couldn't really express himself very well was a little klutzy he was a 15 year old kid when the police found this kid, he weighed 69 pounds. I've been hungry before, just not because I didn't have food, thankfully, but because I've let things happen during the day and thought, oh my God, why is my stomach hurt? I know what hunger pangs feels like. You guys know what it feels like to feel like there's nothing in your stomach because we've all been there. We've all forgotten to eat or we're on an airplane for too long and didn't, couldn't eat or whatever, on a road trip and couldn't eat or in a storm and we'd lost power, lost food, whatever. We know what it feels like to be hungry. Can you imagine what it feels like to be starving for six months of your life and the food that you get is not even hot sauce, man. It's the hottest hot sauce you can get that your family puts on bread and says if you have three pieces of that, you can have three pieces of regular bread. And your food is no longer protein. The food that you are given is bread and rice with some hot sauce on it. Not because you like hot sauce, but because somebody likes watching you deal with it. So guys, for six months, from January until July of 2022, this boy was systematically tortured by his mom, Shonda Vanderark, and by his brother, Paul Ferguson, which we're going to talk a little bit about how I feel Paul is just as guilty as his mom. Maybe even more. But how police investigation made it easy, gave the idea to Paul to blame it all on his mom. In the meantime, it was the both of them. It was the both of them because they both watched this 15-year-old kid suffer on camera. They had cameras all over the place. So if this kid moved, 
to get comfortable sleeping on a floor in a closet. He was made to be made uncomfortable. So if he was comfortable, they made sure he was uncomfortable. They gave him 60 seconds to pee and 120 seconds to poop. They went after this kid. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the last days of this kid's life? The last month of this kid's life, starving, hungry, with his eyes wide, probably acting animalistic because he was treated like an animal. Not even. He was treated like a beast. Not an animal, not like her dog. Shonda had a dog. A dog that was there for her, a service dog. And her son was somebody that she took out her frustrations on. And her son Paul was on board with it. Paul was the one that found the hot sauce. According to Shonda, it was Paul's idea about the hot sauce. And I believe her. I believe her. Paul's friends said that Paul was a bully and treated his brother horribly. Shonda's co-workers said Shonda neglected a lot of her work and focused on watching her kids on camera at home. By the way, Shonda's practically a genius, just so you know. She got a law scholarship. She worked in the courthouse as like a scribe for lawyers. Very intelligent woman. What happened here? Could it be that Paul got into her ear and said, hey, we could do this. We could do this. And then they both got off on it. This is the story of Timothy Ferguson. That's the life he led for the last six months of his life. Why? Why? And who was guilty of this? Well, his older brother, Paul, one of his older brothers, Paul, who was 19 at the time, was told by his mom to punish his little brother, Timothy. It was calculated torture that they did to this child. Calculated torture. For no reason. When you hear the court case and you hear them talk to this mother in court and she says... Well, I kept the food and everything locked up and he still managed to get it. He was being penalized for it, but you weren't feeding him. Do you know how stupid that sounded? He stole food because he was hungry. He also had conditions that weren't being addressed. Mind you, they were not being addressed. He was supposedly on medicine when he lived with his dad. But the medicine wasn't given to him when he lived with his mom. So his behavior spun out of control. And instead of taking him and getting medication or taking him to a doctor or taking him to help find out what's going on, she took it upon herself. She tied him up with those zip ties. She tied him up with handcuffs. He wore an adult diaper that sometimes they didn't change. Sometimes they didn't even bother putting on him. They'd put a tarp in a closet where he lived. In a closet. A tarp in a closet where he lived so that he could urinate and shit all over himself and then get in trouble for it. When he had baths, he had ice-cold baths. You know how I know how they were ice-cold? Because they literally stuck ice cubes in his bath. When he was brought outside, he was made to run up and down stairs. We've heard that before, right? That's a Ruby, Frankie, Jody Hildebrandt thing. Is that where she got the idea? How does somebody treat somebody that they gave birth to like that? How does somebody treat anybody like that? And then have the audacity to help yourself to drink water anytime you want it on stand when you're being interrogated to say, can I get some chips, please? I'm a little hyperglycemic. That was the 19-year-old, the, the brother, who, listen, we're going to look at some of his tapes. He's guilty. 
All they did was they got him to turn on the mother so that they had something easy to go with. I think he's just as guilty and just as salacious, just as nefarious, just as dirty, just as a scumbag as his mother. This is going to take a few videos, but this is an introduction to the case. You guys want me to continue on with it? I will. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your day. Guys, please like, subscribe, and share the video. If you don't like me at the end, you can unsubscribe. Thanks, guys. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Thanks, guys.